At the YMCA, we're strengthening the foundation of our community through youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. And right now, the Y is fighting some important battles against diabetes and obesity. It's estimated that one in three children do not receive enough physical activity, and 30% of children in San Antonio are overweight or obese. Now at the Y, we have 5,000 children in our care during the week and over 15,000 on weekends. And we see to it that children in our programs are up and moving at least 20 minutes a day. That means that every week we are helping over 20,000 children fight the battle against childhood obesity right here in our community. And did you know that 14% of San Antonio population is diabetic? Well, this is double the national average. The Y is educating families across San Antonio about how nutrition and exercise can help them avoid diabetes, ultimately saving their lives. Last year, 143 individuals graduated from our Y Living program, where they learned how proper nutrition and exercise can better the health of their families. And through support of donors like you, we are able to offer these programs to everyone, regardless of ability to pay. Now, the following stories are just a few examples of how the Y is impacting lives right here in our community. I'm a teacher at John F. Kennedy High School and I teach criminal justice for the past six years. We are um, un an underserved community on the west side of San Antonio, just west of downtown, um, mostly at-risk students um, who many people have forgotten about or think can't achieve anything. Well, this year we've had a fantastic opportunity to participate in youth and government. My students participated in mock trial competitions at the district and the state level this year. Next year we're going to expand and include legislative and judges and moot court. This youth and government program has impacted my students immensely. First of all, they see that the community does care about them. The Greater San Antonio YMCA has supported them completely uh, this school year through all of our endeavors uh, with financial support, with encouragement, and uh, being there to volunteer and mentor. Being on the west side of San Antonio, students tend to think that no one cares about them, and, and quite frankly, many people don't put high expectations on them. And the truth of the matter is they can succeed just like anyone else, and now they see that. By joining the Y Living program, I have lost 30 pounds in less than two months and a half. So it's definitely changed, not just the way I look, um, it also has helped me emotionally and physically, and also how I see life is just different. If you were to be joining the Y program, it talks about how to eat, how to run your life in a better way, in um, exercising, being more with your family, uh, preparing better meals. The people that have joined the Wyland program with myself, including me, it's been my mom, my sister, uh, another sister of mine, my niece. If you're hesitant to think about going to the YMCA, there's really nothing that should be holding you back. There's daycare, the tuition is totally free. I never thought I would be wearing the clothes that I'm wearing now, for example, because this has been years uh, probably five, six years ago. And they would always tell me, oh, you know, put that clothes away, it's never gonna fit you again. And I never knew that joining the Y program was gonna help me get to where I'm at right now and how it's just changed me and my family and not just my family, my entire family. When my daughter was nine, she wanted to start playing volleyball. And so I had an opportunity to start coaching her and the team at that time. And then we moved up over time um, to 11U, but we came up with the name, the girls came up with the name Shockwave and it's stuck. So we've become kind of like a family over the last four seasons of volleyball. I coach in the Shockwave volleyball team and we're actually members of the YMCA out at uh, Mays YMCA, which is on the north, north side of town. And our, our, we have an amazing group of girls that are made up of 10 and 11 year olds. We sat at our team meeting after a game and I told the girls about Y Partners and how it provides scholarships to children and families in our community. And I challenged them to come up with a way to raise funds. And it could be something as simple as searching for spare change in their house or uh, having a bake sale. 
um, and they accepted that challenge. Some had a bake sale, some sold lemonade, some went door to door and asked neighbors. And from our team, we saw so many aspects of them coming up with the ideas of the fundraiser and how they were gonna raise money. Um, really, all I had to do as a parent was not stand in the way. It was so inspiring to see these girls care about other children and families in their community and do whatever they could to help. So overall, Shockwave alone raised over $1,000 for Y Partners this season. Yeah, I think one of the, the things that the girls have gotten from this, and my daughter specifically, is that they are they they realize that um, just one individual can go out and make a difference in the community. My hope is that after being part of the Shockwave family, that each one of these girls will go out into their school, their back at home in their family, or with their friends, or wherever they go. My hope is that this will carry on through their whole lives thinking about character, thinking about good sportsmanship and having a positive attitude and bringing their faith, living out their faith every day, that what a difference they can make in one person's life or in a community's life, in the lives of the community, um, but that most of all that they personally can make an impact, make a shockwave. At the YMCA of Greater San Antonio, we have made it our mission to positively impact the lives of individuals across our community. We take pride in the fact that we are able to offer quality, consistent programming to everyone in our community, regardless of their financial status. Whether it be at one of our 10 health and wellness facilities, or at our Early Childhood Education Center at Haven for Hope, or while playing in the streets at Ciclavia, we are making our community a healthier, stronger, and more active place. Thank you for being a partner in our efforts.